There is a condition that is difficult to detect, but it can be a medical emergency. It's called delirium, and there are two basic kinds, quiet and excited. They may look a lot like dementia, but they can be particularly hard to identify. If you are a caregiver, you need to know the signs of quiet or excited delirium and what to do about them. The first one we'll cover is quiet delirium. Here are some signs you should look for. Your loved one may not be thinking clearly or have trouble paying attention, not be aware of what's going on in the immediate surroundings, may seem out of touch, avoids making eye contact, might not know who you are or where they are, and may occasionally see or hear things that are not really there but seem real. These symptoms are different from your loved one's usual behaviors. Other symptoms can include slurred speech, answering very slowly, talking about things that don't make sense, and looking or appearing very sad. Let's see how this works with Frank and Doreen. <laughs> what are you watching, dear? Why don't we shut this off until after you've had lunch? The train should be pulling in soon. What train, Frank? I gotta get on the train. We're gonna see all the fish. Um, here, why don't you try taking a bite of your sandwich? Frank, wake up and eat. Uh, the fish and water. Frank, water. what are you saying? Water. Wake up! Uh. You need to take one of your pills. Here, take this. Who are you? I wanted some tomatoes. This isn't right. It's never been like this before. This is quiet delirium. Your loved one suddenly just doesn't seem to respond to you in the usual way. It happens when a serious medical change occurs large enough to disrupt physical and mental functioning. As in this scenario, Frank is different because something has changed about his health. Doreen needs to contact their medical caregivers as soon as possible. Yes, it's my husband, Frank. He's a patient there. He has dementia, but I've never seen him like this before. I don't know what to do. Please, can you help me? Doreen did the right thing. The doctors and the rest of the medical team will work to determine what medical problem is causing Frank's behavior. In the meantime, she should stay calm and try to comfort him. Quiet delirium can appear unexpectedly. Now let's look at a more extreme and difficult aspect of delirium, and it can be dangerous. Notice the changes in Frank's behavior. The symptoms of excited delirium are more obvious than those of quiet delirium. They may include restlessness, attempts to get up and move around with no apparent purpose, aggressive or random behavior with various objects, and fearfulness. Like quiet delirium, however, they last longer than episodes of agitation and dementia. Other symptoms can include physical attacks on caregivers, such as punching and pinching, yelling, throwing objects, being disoriented, and not recognizing the caregiver. As with quiet delirium, your loved one will probably not be able to understand or explain why they are acting so differently. But you need to realize that the situation has changed radically. A person who is experiencing excited delirium needs professional medical care. How you doing, honey? It's time for your pills. I brought you a glass of water. Get out! Oh, Frank! Get out of here! Oh, no, 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 that's all right, it's all right. Just stay down, Frank! Frank, you're hurting me! Frank, let go! You must act quickly. Just as with quiet delirium, excited delirium is a medical emergency. That leaves it to you to take the only step possible. Yes, I have a medical emergency here. My husband, Frank Taft, he's out of control. He needs to see a doctor right away. Well, he's throwing things. He grabbed my wrist. He's talking out of his head. I've never seen him like this before. This is different than dementia. 
It comes on quickly, and the usual approaches don't work. Look for these symptoms. Restlessness, attempts to get up, aggressive behavior, fearfulness, physical attacks on the caregiver, throwing objects, being disoriented, not recognizing the caregiver. There are warning signs that your loved one needs immediate and professional medical help. Remember, you did not cause it, and you cannot handle it by yourself.